Hi, this is Dana, and <clears throat> on this channel I speak about spiritual warfare. Um, in this video, I will talk a little bit about um, what it means from energetic perspective um, to work with darkness. <clears throat> um, and I will explain uh, why uh, I'm doing this. And um, I keep saying always, I mean, I know that some um, of the information that I'm delivering uh, sounds a little bit different from uh, other uh, uh, creators of content on YouTube. Um, and particularly when I refer to karmics, um, I always emphasize and um, it's something that uh, it's, um, I view as being important to emphasize the fact that we come from the same place. Um, so, And I will explain why. Uh, when I keep saying that um, the karmics are also divine, were created divine creatures, just like the divines, um, is because I want, um, first of all, I want to place the responsibility of what is going on and of their own choices. Um, I do not see um, as beneficial the discourse where uh, basically some people are simply labeled as karmics uh, and um, therefore they uh, end up using this as an excuse for doing harm. Um, I think uh, it is <clears throat> our common goal uh, to uh, ascend. God has shown me repeatedly um, that we all signed up for this assignment. Nobody came here forced. Everybody came here um, uh, agreeing to the assignment, requesting the assignment. Many of the karmics that I encountered, actually my worst enemies, uh, karmics, um, pleaded with God uh, to be allowed to come, to clear their name, uh, always showing uh, the divine judgment that it was not their fault, they didn't mean to do this, uh, but they were tricked, but they were, there was black magic done on them, they didn't have opportunities to show, to say, to do, to whatever, right? So God has shown to me, because I uh, until I actually um, grasped, grasped what was going on, and I explained in some videos before that uh, there is a moment, very important moment, and everyone has different way in, uh, of achieving this, but everyone should achieve this in order to become a good spiritual fighter, namely to depersonalize uh, the fight and the attack. This is extremely important. And uh, for me to depersonalize uh, meant to ask God and to learn details why. Why is this individual doing this? Why is it so? Why this became so? How it happened? Um, and God always had much patience, and I'm very grateful for this, um, to explain to me. Uh, also my ancestors, my uh, guides, my um, angels, and so on, everybody explained to me. Uh, so I always found um, support uh, in my uh, divine uh, spiritual team, uh, explaining and showing things to me. Um, uh, maybe other people cope with this depersonalizing uh, the attacks and the fight in a different way. I don't know. This is my way of doing things uh, by understanding and finding uh, the higher perspective um, in order to start um, uh, conceiving your composure and your strategy of fighting it and so on. I also believe, and maybe this um, could be some sort of guidance and indication for you as well. I also believe that if you do this, in like I do, a thorough analysis of the situation of the individuals involved and so on, then it also helps you give um, the, a stronger determination to continue your fight because you understand from a higher perspective you're not emotional about things. Also, it helps you to make wise decisions because God has shown to me repeatedly that uh, these individuals, when uh, divine judgment comes and when sarva, uh, karma is being served to them, they always find excuses, they always try to trick you, they always blame others, they always try to um, um, 
play uh, the victim and to uh, convince you to give them another chance or to just give them undeserved forgiveness and so on and so forth. And this is why I um, believe that uh, it's not out of pride, but I do believe that my uh, system of working with this um, it clearly comes also from my uh, profession because I, I've done much analysis and, and uh, strategy uh, planning and so on. Um, so I believe that this is a, a beneficial way to do things which prepares you um, and um, sort of, uh, sort of um, consolidates your, de your determination and the good decision making. Actually, I am qualified as decision maker in uh, wars uh, and defense planning. Uh, this is what I specialized in. Um, so I believe that if you understand properly, then you will not make a wrong decision. Um, because they do have this um, system of uh, playing on the, your emotions, <clears throat> projecting emotions on you, trying to trick you to make you f to remember different things in different ways to forget things and so on, which they've done and so on. Um, <clears throat> I believe this is important because I always said in my videos, um, a wrong decision could set you up to another karmic cycle. A karmic cycle is at least seven years. This is nothing to joke about. And um, uh, I'm emphasizing this because we are now at a certain... <clears throat> Sorry, my throat chakra is being attacked constantly. Um, uh, we are now in a, a specific time in ascension. So for a long time, it's been, as I said, a survival mode, as God uh, described it. Uh, but for many years now, we are uh, on a totally different uh, phase of the ascension. Um, so it's one thing to go through karmic cycle, repetitive karmic cycles during a survival mode, when uh, it was not the proper time uh, to actually go head on in um, um, in uh, conflicts, right? Uh, and it's totally different situation now when you're missing opportunities, you know. <clears throat> I mean, um, upgrades will come, energetic upgrades will come anyway. Ascension will go forward regardless what decision you make. Uh, now, up energetic upgrades, if you make the right decision, can elevate you. Uh, if you make wrong decisions, um, it will transform everything in, very, in a very painful experience. And why is this? Because um, you're going through a karmic cycle, then that means much of darkness is being sent to you. But as opposed to previous years, now because of the energetic upgrade, you will feel that darkness much more painful than it was before. So this is why I keep emphasizing and I focus so much in my videos in trying to help others to make the right decisions and to understand uh, the ways in which they can be tricked. This is also why I believe that it's not uh, beneficial to simply label individuals as being karmic and then, mm, you know, have this um, discourse where we point fingers at them, at them and they uh, keep uh, then using this as an excuse. Oh, I am karmic, you know, I am guilty, but then whatever, please forgive me. No, it's not like this. We are all, we have all been created as divine creatures. Now, pending of what decisions were made, uh, each individual evolved differently. Okay, now everyone should assume responsibility for their own choices and also from whatever they inherited from their own lineage. What you inherited from your lineage, it must be a lesson for you. Uh, it, it shouldn't be just a justification for you repeating the same stupid mistakes. And please, I emphasize again, uh, keep in mind that you, uh, ancestors didn't go through ascension time. This ascension time is a specific moment when God decides to um, set the record straight and this is related to um, the uh, process of metamorphosis of dark forces present uh, in this uh, spiritual fighting so this is not a time when uh, you can actually postpone I explained this very clearly and uh, everyone should make will make their own decisions. But um, this is uh, why I keep emphasizing. I do not think we should give them 
um, excuses. I do not believe that uh, any individual, I do not believe that any individual, no matter what kind of karma they got from uh, ancestral line, I do not believe that God wouldn't help them. I actually know that God spends more times, more time um, creating opportunities for individuals um, that um, are in karmic situations and made karmic uh, decisions, bad decisions, and so on. And I actually know from personal experience, God doesn't look differently on anyone. God looks exactly the same on everyone. And um, I spend much time with God uh, actually describing me how each individual that has been attacking me became the way it became. And God was always very fair. And he always explained to me very clearly what were the, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, what they inherited from previous generations and what their, what was their own uh, decision, bad decisions. And I even also asked God why. Why did, did this one betray? Why? 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 Uh, and always he explained to me and he showed to me each and every single individual, each and every decision they made, why they did so, who tricked him, but why they succeeded to trick him. And God has shown me because he was greedy for money instead of choosing love <clears throat> because he was envious of the other one's gifts. Because uh, he was not willing to put in the work to focus on his own gifts. But he wanted to steal from the other one. Instead of focusing on himself to elevate and to upgrade, he focused on blocking the other one not to go ahead of him. And so on. So he explained to me all of this. Um, and um, because I, I uh, uh, my whole intention in the entire uh, activity uh, of prophetic writing and uh, as YouTube creator on spiritual fighting and astrology, um, I uh, focus on spreading the word of God. I really want that um, my work really conveys the way God sees things. So I try and I, in my videos, if you pay attention, I always specify when is my personal opinion, uh, which uh, I might know that it might differ from what God would say. Um, or I don't know what God would say about that, and then I. But I specify one is my personal opinion, because I do want that <clears throat> everyone uh, sees God just like I see Him, because I somehow in my heart and in my mind I believe that if people would see God as I see Him, they wouldn't make uh, these bad decisions. I hope. I don't know. Um, okay, so I wanted to specify this because. Um, in my videos, you will find uh, this distinction as opposed to many other um, content creators uh, who are just referring to karmics like they would be different from us. They are not different from us. They just make really bad decisions and they need to understand and they shouldn't just use this as, as an excuse. Uh, they should understand that the responsibility of their choices is their own. This is bad decision they made. And if I took the time to ask God why they made the wrong decision, then they should um, take the time to identify what the fuck pushed them to make such bad decisions and to do so much harm to others. And um, if I took enough time uh, to transmute what they have sent to me, then they should make the, take the same time and make the same effort to heal fucking wounds in them or whatever ancestral karma they have instead of just projecting and harming and plotting and, and smearing uh, our names and, and slandering and, and so on. Because it can be done. It can be done, okay? Um, so I do not give them any kind of um, excuse uh, and I want to emphasize we were all sent here with all the tools necessary uh, to fight uh, the spiritual fighting that we were supposed to fight. That some of us made, made it more difficult for themselves and for others through bad decisions. They must uh, sit the fuck down uh, and understand why they did so, what pushed them to do this and uh, start healing. I do not care for any kind of explanation. Lock the fuck yourself up in the house. 
all by yourself and sit there for days and months until you figure out. Don't go interact with anyone if you're not capable of, of handling other people's uh, energy uh, and they influence you. Sit there and pray to God and figure it out and heal it. Nobody has any kind of excuse, uh, just their own wrongdoing. Uh, so this is why I keep emphasizing this, and I will continue to use the same language and refer to them in the same way. Uh, again, we come from the same place. Uh, unfortunately, some of them have made wrong choices continuously in repetitive karmic cycles. And therefore, um, this has become, become a pattern which is more... Um, um, it's strongly uh, uh, impregnated in their energetic body, in their DNA. That's their problem. I know for a fact that God has chosen and gave them opportunities to heal that. They always have chances to return to God to do redemption. And God, as I keep saying, will work with you a plan, will help you. I am pretty sure those who have done wrong by uh, working with God, they can do much of much good because they know what they've done. Anyhow, so um, with this being said, uh, right now I will just give a, um, an explanation of, from an energetic perspective uh, of what it means um, to work with darkness. I will just refer to one or two uh, situations. Uh, I am not going to refer to, you know, um, what is the, dark, uh, uh, the logic of the darkness that it claims you and so on and spiritual fighting. I'm just going to refer to energetic perspective now. Um, I think God wants them to understand something. So God uh, showed me uh, what it actually means uh, energetically uh, when they work with different entities uh, from darkness, right? Demons, whatever, monsters whatever entities, spirits, and so on, right? So that entity, essentially, um, uses their own body uh, to launch a darkness um, attack uh, at us, at whoever is the victim, whoever is the target. So uh, the, the darkness, the entity, uses their own body, the body of those who actually... Um, um, called, uh, conjured, invoked, uh, or whatever, um, uh, the entity uh, that we are referring to. So uh, that entity uses their own body to launch darkness. Um, so what it does, it charges their own body uh, to um, uh, an extent um, unknown to themselves. So let me explain this, how God showed me. Um, these individuals that work with darkness are unwilling to work with their own bodies in order to um, do energy healing, uh, to discover their gifts, to work with their gifts, to have a dialogue with the divine, uh, to do good deeds, to uh, do charity and good deeds. All of these normally uh, result in a specific type of energy flow in your body and as you do all of this, you discover many of the energetic work in the body, right? Um, they don't do it. So then they don't even know the full capacity they have. They don't use their body, their energetic body to the full extent. But these um, entities, which they call, uh, God said, um, uh, these entities use their own body to launch darkness, charging their body um, to an extent unknown to them, okay? But this essentially means that uh, the darkness overlaps with their energetic uh, body, okay? Um, this in itself transforms in, in an attachment initially. Attachment means also addictions, yeah? Um, and um, from attachment, the next level, if you insist on uh, calling on the same type of entity uh, or continue working with that entity, uh, that transforms in a possession, which later on can become a snitching of the spirit, snitching of the, of the body, um, and uh, so on. Yeah? Um, then um, uh, when we do 
uh, of course, we do our own spiritual fight as targets. We are targeted by these attacks. So as we are targeted, we fight back, right? Uh, and we do different spiritual fighting, let's call it uh, return to sender uh, most often, right? Um, then when we do this and we, when we are successful in our spiritual fighting, that entity goes back to them, right? Uh, once more, and um, it takes the attack, the feeding, which uh, that darkness uh, was promised, from their own body. So the demon uses, basically the, the entity uses their body twice. Once to launch the attack and second time to feed on them when we succeed to send that entity back to them. By send, uh, send back to sender, return to sender, whatever uh, type of uh, spiritual work we do, right? Uh, so this is uh, this is how uh, this works. So if you keep repeating this cycle many times, I mean, in my case, uh, the individuals who keep attacking me, they keep doing this daily, uh, many times per day. So you can imagine how much darkness um, goes through uh, uh, the bodies of these individuals who choose by their own free will to work with darkness. And even, uh, even though it, all this darkness is doing so much harm on their body, they still prefer to continue to work with darkness uh, instead of just going and healing. Okay, I'm just pointing out uh, uh, how um, bad decisions, uh, how the, your decisions are bad. You just uh, uh, okay, um, snitches the body. I said this. Okay, and um, one more thing because we were talking about um, the responsibility. Um, I must also emphasize, because many people are describing this as funny. This is not funny, you know. Uh, they are doing stalking. They are doing um, uh, monitoring uh, spirits, uh, hoovering spirits, um, forms of thoughts, forms of um, uh, emotions, all sorts of spirits uh, being sent, sorcery, necromancy, um, and so on, and stalking by uh, astral projection, by different other means. All of this, all of this, this is darkness attack on individuals. This is, you're not allowed to stalk anybody. You're not allowed to monitor anybody. You're not allowed to bomb, uh, love bomb anybody. You're not allowed to, uh, you're not allowed to enter anybody's energetic space. You're not allowed to violate the energetic space of anyone. This is not allowed. You're, uh, by doing this, you are breaking um, uh, astral rules. This is punished. This brings karma. The, uh, this kind of darkness brings addictions and more darkness of different other uh, types. Um, it's a lot of harm that uh, is being done by this talking. Personally, I'm very annoyed by it. I don't accept it. I think it's insulting even. And I believe it should be punished in 3D. I think the police and <clears throat> other institutions should actually, since they do have uh, the means to monitor in astral, they can determine who's doing stalking to whom. Okay? And they can actually punish. They should punish, actually, these individuals. Um, and... Um, they always pretend that it's not, uh, you know, it's not big of a deal. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. You are not allowed to interfere with anybody. Uh, this uh, sex magic, uh, this artificial telepathy, uh, this using, using technology, this love bombing, none of this is okay. None of this is okay. These are rapes, uh, spirit, uh, spiritual rape. Uh, basically, your uh, what the fuck? If somebody doesn't want uh, in three D to have a, uh, any kind of uh, romantic or sexual relation with you, what the fuck are you doing? Love bombing on that person? What does that mean? You're forcing your energy upon them. Not to mention that you're clocking yourself. Therefore, you're bringing more darkness to that individual. Get the fuck away. We work a lot to clean our energy. Just go away. Go in your fucking space and deal with your karma. Go do your redemption. Just leave us alone. Um, I did this in 2018. I did this 
um, endeavor with God in which I, um, uh, I was proposing to create a center which focuses specifically on this, to create structures to punish these imbeciles who interfere in other people's energetic space, which is not allowed. Uh, and uh, many other things that they do which are not allowed and it's not normal. And uh, this is why they clock themselves. This is why they steal identities from others and they uh, try to approach you in order to fool you, in order to steal um, uh, your uh, relations with others uh, and so on and so forth. All of this bring karma. All of this bring karma. God sees all of this. I don't understand how you people don't understand that God is say, sees everything. I, this is to me, it's puzzling. It's really puzzling. Um, uh, even gossiping and slandering and smearing the name of individuals. This means also sending darkness to them. This also means um, creating bondages upon them, speaking spells, incantations, curses, all of this. Uh, uh, slander, all of this, this uh, means full intent and um, actions to uh, create bondage on somebody. That's a darkness created and sent upon an individual. Who the fuck should clean that darkness which you people create? Who should clean it? And these individuals keep doing this from the morning to the night and then during the night as well. This is not, uh, during the night they meet in secret uh, societies and satanic cults and they do rituals already. They change it. They don't have time for gossip anymore. They already go to action. Um, so all of these are choices. All of these are choices. Each and every single one of these are choices uh, which generate um, the karmic energy around them. I don't want to hear about... Uh, uh, people uh, using as an excuse the fact that they are karmic. If they're karmic, they their own choices made them karmics. Okay? Um, uh, as I said in, in other videos, if uh, you stay with God, no matter how much dark magic is sent to you, how much uh, black magic, how much spells, how much incantations, you will make it through all of it. God will show you the way. Um, so I don't upset, accept any kind of... Um, excuses for this and um i really want I, I wanted to emphasize this because god has shown me that as always they are trying in this period of time to trick uh, to convince people to give them um, um undeserved forgiveness they keep sending more spells uh, glamour magic uh, stolen identity uh, all all kind of attack of spells and incantations and um, all sorts of uh, practices in order to um, change uh, the free will choice of different individuals. I experience this as we speak and I find it very offensive. Just get the fuck away. Go to God and do your redemption. I don't understand how stupid you people are. Just go and do your redemption. It's enough. I asked God, you know, I said, why uh, doesn't somebody put an end to this? Until when are we going to waste our time? I got a new beginning. I uh, healed my DNA. I closed karmic cycles. I'm done. Why are they do? Why can't they do this anymore? We are done. I'm not interested to hear out anybody. I, I, a karmic cycle has seven years. Most of the individuals who are doing this now um, have been opening karmic cycles with me for many years, since the 90s, okay? Some of them. Uh, others of them since early 20, uh, 2000s. So you had, everybody had enough time uh, to, whatever, to do whatever they were supposed to be doing. And they only want to do this to transfer their karma. That's all. And I believe that is very stupid. I believe it's unacceptable the fact um, that they don't go do work with God to redeem. And I, I really want to emphasize this uh, before I close this video. Um, there will be a time when the redemption opportunities 
will not be within reach. Um, so uh, there are situations in which uh, you will regret that you wasted your time uh, right now since uh, the divine judgment uh, up until now only to send more attacks, only to send more attacks. I don't have time for your stupid ass. I don't, I have, I don't have interest to see or hear anyone. And many of us who close karmic cycles are in the same situation. We just want the new beginning. We want to move on. We want to forget about you. Just go away. Simply like this. Honestly. Honestly, I'm being very honest. I'm not uh, trying to be uh, insulting anyone. I'm not trying to be rude to anyone. I just want you to go away and leave us alone. Go do your thing. Go do your healing. We have other assignment now. We have another assignment. We need to meet other people, to work with other people, to um, do another bondage breaking. Or we need to get into our creation phase. We need to move on. The entire world cannot sit, sit put just because you decided to make karmic decisions and to steal from us, uh, uh, to lie uh, on us, to lie about us, uh, to steal, to uh, uh, do slander and, and uh, so many other ways in which you attacked us. Okay? So that's enough. Just go away. Simple like this. Uh, and uh, there is no excuse that you are karmic. No, you have been created quite the same way as we have been. We have been present all uh, at um, the karmic board meeting and we all requested assignments here. We all made an agreement in uh, the divine realm uh, that we come here to clear karma. And you came here and you guys destroyed us. No, I, literally, and God keeps saying that, no, they didn't destroy you. No, no you, and many of them actually, they have the nerve to use this and say, you know, uh, we tested your abilities. Go the fuck away. Who the fuck you think you are to test my abilities? Who f the fuck gave you authority to do that? Who do you think you are? Others of them keep saying that, uh, you know, it's, it's okay to um, uh, create these challenges uh, for them so they can learn. One of them actually got showed me that one of them or two of them actually said she only reached um, such a high elevation, spiritual elevation, uh, because we created challenges for her. She should be grateful to us. No, no, that's not true. Everybody has their own path and everybody had uh, their own path to us chant. And um, uh, God actually has shown me many times that uh, actually these individuals had no contribution. I was going to go the same path, but if they wouldn't have done so much harm to me, I would have gone through this path without the trauma which they created on me. So uh, I want to, uh, uh, and I hope this script uh, is listening, and to understand that God has showed me that which was supposed to be my path, how was I supposed to go through elevation, and um, unfortunately that looks nothing like what happened. To be very clear, this is... Uh, actually extremely disrespectful to God and to us who have put in the spiritual fighting because of some creeps who decided to work with the darkness. Some of them are from our lineage, our own lineage doing this on us, which some of them came here because they were guilty of doing this in other lifetimes. And they uh, received... Uh, uh, dispense from the uh, karmic board and uh, the chance to come and, and uh, uh, right their wrongs in this lifetime and they created even more harm stealing from us, attacking us doing black magic, sacrifice ritual and stealing wedding vows and money and so on and properties so no nobody gave you the authority to do anything to another individual or to test or to challenge and what you have done, and this only shows the extent to which they are delusional, uh, uh, they're de in denial, and they refuse to acknowledge even the harm they have done. This is unbelievable dis disrespectful 
to actually imagine that God uh, conceived uh, a way for all of us uh, that have been putting up with sex magic and all of these spiritual attacks uh, that we have to go through spiritual rapes uh, created by you um, on on spirit and uh, and so on. That is extremely disrespectful. This is not what God meant for any of us. This is what you created. And this is why now you are in a karmic situation and you have to pay karma. I want this to be very clear because uh, they have a tendency to blur the line. You don't even understand from them what is right and what is wrong. You, you don't, they use excuses. They, uh, this is not uh, right. Everything they have done, and we have all been through uh, divine judgment, and it was deliberated already. And those who actually uh, received punishment, received punishment because of this. Just go the fuck and sit in a corner and think about it. Stop trying to, to, to fool everybody. Because obviously, if, if people are in denial to this extent, to this disrespect, to actually say that all the harm they have done on us um, only helped us to elevate. No, it didn't help us elevate. We were going to elevate to our ranking anyway, in a more peaceful, graceful way, in a healing way. We didn't need to go through this. In other generations and in other uh, uh, incarnations, actually they killed us through this stupid uh, attacks which they launched at us. This is not funny. It's not funny. And this is why I don't want to even see any of them. I don't want to hear about them. This is why. This is exactly why. Because I find it extremely disrespectful the way they look at things. Um, so I'm going to stop here. Um, this is uh, what I wanted to emphasize. Uh, I think God uh, wanted me to talk about this energetic um, work uh, of darkness within their body. So they will understand that uh, most of them who are in karmic situations now and they're facing karma, um, their body is in a state of degradation. If they don't understand <clears throat> to actually stop sending these darkness attacks at us <clears throat> and do their own healing, very soon, they will encounter advanced deterioration of their body, which means diseases, death. If they don't understand clearly, I will just speak it out. Diseases and death, if they don't stop. Because as opposed to them, as we are working with God, we are healing that, we are transmuting, and we are sending back to its sender, which means them. Uh, so I think this is the reason why God wants me uh, to convey this. So they will understand that their desire to do harm upon us is so strong to the extent which they're willing to harm themselves, to kill themselves, to die themselves. Just to make sure that they harm us and they block us not to advance not to meet the divine partner, not to get the whatever business we want to do, not to create this, not to do that. So um, I think with this being said, um, they should just uh, take a very close look at themselves in the mirror. Instead of doing mirror magic at us, just look honestly at themselves uh, in that mirror um, and uh, reflect a little bit on this last phrase, uh, which I uh, shared with you in this video. I will see you in the next video.